So we are going to start the cycle on the Hulk. Well, the way we're going to go ahead about doing that is we can introduce bacteria into the tank or you can put live rock in the tank. But the way we're going to do things is speed things up so we can have fish in here in like a couple days is using nitrifying bacteria. And the bacteria we're going to use today is Turbo Start from Fritz. This is their enzyme bacteria. And we're going to add this directly to the tank. And this is going to speed up the process, maybe two to three days, and you're going to be able to get those fish in there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add this directly to the tank and we are gonna shut down the skimmer. So a lot of people ask me, are you gonna keep your skimmer running when you're gonna do this process? Well, I believe in, yes, I wanna keep it running, but I'm gonna let it maybe shut off for 48 hours just to let this bacteria populate all over the rocks, the sand, the glass, all the piping, because that's what you want. You want everything coated in your tank, covered in the bacteria. Because I'm thinking if you have the skimmer running, you know, for a few hours, you just pour it in there. Is it going to go right into the skimmer? I'm not completely sure, but there's totally different ways of doing it. The way I'm going to do it is the way I like to do things and every way I've started my tank and there's lots of other ideas out there and people do things a lot differently. But I've always, uh, I've always added the bacteria and an ammonia source. And my way of doing the ammonia source is I take a little bit of fish food, I use Rod's food. I got some here. I just take that little bit of tank water and I put it in my little blender and I blend it so the particles are so so fine that these bacteria can just latch onto it they can feed on it but we're just adding a little bit of uh, fish food to it just to get that ammonia source because if you don't feed your bacteria your bacteria will just die out and what they're going to do is they're just going to eat each other and you won't have that bacteria in your tank anymore and you're going to cause issues so that is what we're going to do today we're going to add this bottle of uh, the Fritz Turbo Start directly to the tank we're gonna shut the skimmers off and we're gonna let the tank just sit there and let the pumps flow the water throughout the tank so make sure all the bacteria is definitely coated all over the sand, the rocks, all the plumbing as much as possible. And then I'm just gonna keep adding a little bit of uh, Rod's food just now and then, but not very much. It just needs a little bit of ammonia source. And what I'm gonna show you too is if you have an uh, ORP meter, that you can have a handheld one or if you have the Apex, it's on the screen, it has its own probe and the ORP is gonna show us our bacteria count. I think mine's at like 100 and something right now, but when you start adding the bacteria and it starts to grow and take off, they'll watch that count. And I always keep my bacteria count around three, 350 to 400. That seems for my tank to really be like really healthy and helps break down all the, the nitrates and phosphates, anything that's in the tank, it just keeps that tank healthy. And when after, you have that populated bacteria in there, you don't need to feed it anymore because they're gonna be feeding on all the, the waste from the fish, leftover coral foods, you know, fish foods. That's what ends up keeping your, all your coral and your bacteria alive by just feeding them on. And that's why you wanna turn your protein skimmer off when sometimes when you're feeding because you just want everything to eat. And then you turn your uh, skimmer back on, it takes out all the other waste. And that's one way of doing it, guys. So let's start adding this. We've got our rods food. We're gonna mix a little water in there, shut off the skimmer, and then after we add it, I'm gonna take you guys into the Apex screen. I'll show you my ORP, and then we'll do an update video before we go to add the fish. Plus, I just have the new reef bot all hooked up, and that's how we're gonna test our, our, our ammonias and nitrates and phosphates on this tank to see where our levels are at, and go from there, and then we can compare, moving forward, how healthy the tank is doing, and when all the ammonia is gone, we can start adding our fish and all our inhabitants will be nice and healthy and we're not gonna stress them out. Make sure your salinity is right on because if you don't have your salinity right on, it messes with the fish's insides and they have a hard time moving and they could die on you. And you wanna keep your temperature, you know, the same in your salinity and moving forward. So let's go ahead, let's dump some of this bacteria in here. First, uh, let me just turn off my skimmer. So the skimmer is off. So we're gonna start adding this bacteria. It's gonna be a little cloudy at first. Put it right into the flow generator. You can see it's a little foggy. Let's shake, let's shake it up some more. You gotta shake it really well. It almost smells like sulfur coming out of this thing. Thank you. 
All right, so we got the turbo start all put in the tank. So let's go in, I wanna show you the ORP uh, sensor, the probe, and show you what the ORP numbers are at, and then we can track the population of the bacteria that's gonna be growing in this tank. Because usually what happens is there's two different kinds of bacteria in the tank, and they're in a single war, and then they're fighting against each other, trying to survive, and that's the way it works. So let's go in, let's go check out the ORP on the Apex screen, so we can have a judge of uh, what the bacteria population is, and as we feed and as they grow in this tank and matures, because we're looking for that 350 to 400 mark. Okay, so I got my skimmer off right now. You can see it's really doing quite a bit of skimming. Um, I'll go over to the screen. So right here is our ORP. So we're looking at 183, and that's before I add any bacteria into the tank, and so whatever's naturally there. So when we come back to check in again, this should this will as the bacteria grows, these numbers are going to change and go higher. So that's the plan. So I shut my skimmer off and leave that off for maybe 48 hours and go from there. So you guys can see how like how foggy it is right now just because I added that uh, fritz. So what I'm gonna do here, let's show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a little bit of tank water here, just like that. Take a little bit of tank water. We're gonna bring it over here to my blender. And I just put a little bit of uh, Rod's food in there. So what we want to do is we want to break that right down into the most smallest little particles ever. And this is going to be our ammonia source. They don't need much at all. It just needs to find little particles. So this will just keep it alive. So I'm just gonna put it right in here. There, that's all. So that is the way I like to do my tanks. You guys ask me how I do it, so I'm just explaining it to you. And if you guys wanna do it your own way, go right ahead. So you guys been asking me online how I'm gonna do my tank, and that's how I do it, guys. I just use like the turbo start or any other kind of you know, factory that's out there, you go ahead and use. And I always, they always use a little bit of Rod's food in the blender and just make up those really, 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 really small particles and you don't need much. I just want to make sure and keep my bacteria alive and healthy because if you don't, they're going to die out and you just waste all that money on that bacteria. Um, and you guys ask, would you keep your skimmer running? Like I said before, yes, after this is about maybe, you know, 24 hours or whatever, I'm gonna turn that back on because I believe whatever's gonna be dying off in there, I definitely don't want to seep it into my sand or on my rock. I want it out of there and keep all my nitrates and phosphates and everything down because I don't want them building up in the tank. And going forward, like I said, I got the reef bot. We're gonna pull the tests up. I'll show you guys on the iPad how things are rolling. And when everything's good, we can just uh, start putting the fish in there because I've been waiting a long time, and just like you guys have been asking me, when is the fish going in there? We're this much closer, guys, and I can't wait. So this is the way I do it. You guys can do it any way you want to do it. If you guys could, like, you know, I'd like to see, like, 600 likes on this video if possible. And um, making these videos is so much fun. I enjoy what I do, and I enjoy trying to entertain all of you. And I always try to get back all your comments. So just leave your comments in below. And I'll always try to answer it. If there's a topic you guys want me to hit on, just ask. And I'll do my best to show you guys what I do. All right? And the other thing is, too, if you guys want me to start doing some uh, YouTube live videos, we're going to do a question and answer with the Hulk or anything you guys want to know about this build or farm or reef going forward, let me know if that's something you else would like to do, okay? So that's it, guys, for this episode. It's very simple to get this process started. And uh, I'm excited to see on this journey how far it's gonna go. And I really appreciate you guys following along because it's awesome, I've been having a great time, all right? So if you guys could hit the little bell in the corner and you guys just subscribe so we just keep moving forward, that would be awesome. So we'll see you guys on the next video. We'll have the update on how the turbo starts doing on the tank and across all my social medias, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. I'm posting every day how everything is taking place with the Hall Bill, right? So please subscribe and hit that like button. Reason why I feel like I can fly. Thinking about your day and night. I love it when you kiss me. I love it when we touch. Every time I'm down here, you make me smile. You're the solution. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are.